Hey family, Tasha, Mom Bear Prepping. So today what I want to talk about is blessings, okay? And the importance as a prepper, how important it is to be talking to your to your people, right? Um, be communicating, um, letting people know and, and not being scared to let some people know that you're a prepper and that you prepare, okay? Now, I'm not saying let everybody know that you're a prepper as far as, hey, this is what I got and all this stuff, but just talking to people in general about prepping um, is valuable. And I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why. Ever since I, first of all, I've been talking about prepping for decades, right? While I was in the service. And people used to joke and stuff like that, um, but it wasn't, it, there was no one way or the other, like, hey, she's crazy or whatever, right? It was just like, hey, that's Tasha. She's into prepping, right? But then ever since I started my channel, it's so crazy because now I have all these people bringing me uh, information and intel, whether it's a piece of information about something that's going on in the world, whether it's a piece of information about um, some kind of current event that's happening. Hey, did you hear about this? Did you hear about this? Whether it's a sale at a store, hey, I, they're selling these generators at the store, whatever, whatever it is, I'm now getting flooded with all types of information, which for me is power, okay? And so when you talk to people and you communicate on what you do, good things come your way okay and you know i was talking to some co-workers some very good friends of ours and they were discussing how their mother um was a prepper and uh she's getting older and how hey she was probably thinking about offloading a bunch of emergency food that she's had for years you know she's just getting older and she wanted to offload it and i was like hey you know i'm definitely interested let me know sent me pictures what do you know? I'm like, yes, I absolutely want it. And I got it for a very, very good deal. Okay. Um, I'm about to show you guys my haul. I'm about to show you what I got from this lady. Um, I feel very, very blessed because this is two companies. It's actually two of my favorite mountain house and Augustine farms. Very familiar with both of them. Love both of them. And it's just crazy that I came across this. She was getting rid of it and we were able to purchase it from her and get this food. Now, I want you to take this opportunity to, one, not be so scary, okay, one, to talk to people about who you are and what you do. You don't have to be specific. You don't have to tell them everything under the moon about what you have and what you do and what extent at all, okay? I'm just talking about be open with your friends and family, okay? Second of all, you know, when you put out good energy, I believe that good energy comes back, okay? And... There are different ways to prep. This is like a number one, um, not idea, but the value in this is there's different ways to prep, okay? And you don't have to be the type that has all this money and goes out and gets this stuff. I know several preppers that go out and they purposely go out to see what they can find for free at garage sales, um, at websites that give away free stuff towards their preps and they do all their preps for free and then I have people who just like this lady was selling this stuff but people find other people on Craigslist and um, let's see Craigslist and eBay and different selling sites that are selling prepping items and a lot of it sometimes is old food older food that was purchased a while ago but you guys it's freeze-dried food it's gonna last you know 20 30 years from now okay so I'm about to bring you back and um, show you this haul and what we got, okay? And I hope you enjoy it. It's kind of cool to see some older food like this, all right? So see you in a few minutes. Hey, you guys, it's Tasha Mar Bear Prepping, and I'm about to just show you my haul that I received from good friends of ours. Their mother was selling um, some old food that she had bought uh, many, many years ago, and I just want to show you what we received, okay? I got all of this for a very, very good price, and she was just getting older and wasn't um, able to keep this much food, okay? So starting over here, um, it's basically two brands. It's Mountain House and it's Augustine Farms, which I love, you guys, both of these brands. And it's funny because I was willing to buy it even if it was possibly some other brands, but I was nervous about that. Um, so over here, mostly vegetables. This right here is a whole um, six cans that haven't even been broke out of the box. And then I have a couple uh, number 10 cans up here, right here, of some extras. So there's some veggies. I got that cream of wheat cereal. I got a couple cans of the cheese blend. One can of that butter powder. 
Um, I got uh, one thing of scrambled eggs and then those two of the whole eggs. And then back there, I got that huge cornmeal, 38 pounds of cornmeal, you guys, in that Augustin Farms. And then back there, I got the hard wheat. So you remember with hard wheat, you've got to have a way to mill it down, which we do. And that's actually the mill right there, one of them, electric mill right there. But um, so four cans of that. Then bringing you guys over here, I got some chili macaroni. I got a few of the Asian style teriyaki beef um, down there. It's like a turkey tetrazzini. My MRE folks, you guys definitely know about that. Chicken um, Alfredo. There's one can here, but there's some more over on the side. I got a couple cans of beef chunks. And I got uh, a couple cans of chicken breast. And if you guys see, she labeled on there what she paid for these, okay? And and I don't know if you guys are following, but for example, she paid $48 and it's double that now for, you know, diced chicken breast in a number 10 can now. Then down here, I have all types of vegetable soup blends, like beef stew, I got some stroganoffs. I got a thing of, uh, back here, spaghetti marinara already done. Um, I got a couple noodles and chicken cans vegetable stew I also got these smaller cans you guys one pound cans um, a blueberry mix um, here's a French bread mix I got two of those and then I got two of these scone mixes from her a little soup there cream of chicken number 10 can um, another vegetable stew some more beef stroganoff I think both those cans back there are more chicken fettuccine and then um, meat substitute bacon bits. So I'm not really big on substitutes, but who knows, it might be good. Throw in some soup or something. So you guys, there is my haul that I got from our beautiful friends who were thinking about me when moms was trying to get rid of some food, you guys. And I feel like I hit the lottery as a prepper uh, because this is lots and lots of food you guys super excited to get this on our shelves and I had a different video lined up for today so I'll bring that back I'll bring you guys back tomorrow for that video but I just wanted to show you um, our haul that we got today so thank you for watching take care